want uh, us to really try. Brother Brennan says by one and a half hours, we ought to be done. And we're going to try that. And, and there's such a wonderful presence in the house of the Lord. And before uh, I welcome the, 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 the preacher, our preacher, Brother Nasha, I don't know, is he sitting here somewhere? Yes, sir. Uh, but, uh, Brother Nasha, would you, what song would you like to us to welcome you to the pulpit? Turn your eyes. Turn your eyes. Okay. Let's stand. Let's go F. Uh, and then I also want to just say this to the musicians. You know, um, uh, I don't know, are they going to play also for our Omega group? <laughs> you know, uh, then we go home, uh, Alpha. Now, if you want to join Omega group, you know, some of you, as long as we're not over 50, uh, then I'm okay if you want to remain for uh, the... Uh, the Omega group as well. I know some young people would like that. Um, uh, praise God. We got some young people outside there. Dasa has made it, and she insisted to be here, and so we couldn't keep her further from the house of the Lord. So I, I would also like to welcome Sister Dasa out there somewhere, and uh, parents feel free. You know, we are not going to constrain you or, you know, if you want to bring your children. They seem to be very resilient. We all got COVID in the home, and Sister Yvonne and Nathan got it in a very bad way. Uh, but the children didn't seem, uh, me and the children, we, we got off very lightly. And I thank God for that, amen? Uh, so all the praise to God. Praise God. Amen. So, uh, without further ado, so if you want to bring your little ones, uh, it's nice and cool out there, as long as they stay with the parents. So, Adasa is with Aunt, uh, with Auntie Carol, very strict auntie that. So, I don't think Dasa will be able to do it. But Dasa is, a, you know, I'm very surprised how the Lord healed Dasa from the, 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 the eczema uh, and a lot of... Uh, uh, things are happening, and, and Dasa is beginning to focus, you know, and, and then she seems to be getting out of the ADD as well. So I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. God is so good. Amen. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look for Will be uh, will be will be video um, will what do you call it recorded, recorded video recorded thank you and uh, I believe God is about to do something great with the ministry here we have some wonderful young people young men we put it that way that's very able. And we, I, I really enjoyed 
uh, our precious brother Pengeo's message, you know, the ultimate definition of love. It's on our channel. Actually, it's my channel that I gave it over to, to, the, to Life Tabernacle, yes. So you'll see a, the, some personal things there, just ignore it. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, so uh, we're going to, Brother Nasha, and uh, you know, I really uh, appreciate uh, Bang Ventuk that has made the equipment available free. So I promise the, the boss I'll take him out uh, for lunch. Or oh, it's her, I think. Praise God. So, Brother Nasha, you, you can just call the date, you know, and then we can really take her out for, uh, you know, making it freely available for, for us. Very nice of her. And uh, so, uh, we'll be then putting it on the channel. And I trust that the Lord will bless the people out there. So, uh, if you look at, um, uh, I, I watch the YouTube, uh, the ultimate definition on love, and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> there was such a great atmosphere here. Praise God. That was F. Uh, let's go to E flat. Amen. As Brother Nasha comes. Damn your eyes upon of the world. Uh, quite an inspired theme. Um, I, um, 
It's quite a wonderful privilege to be here. You know, um, thankful to the pastor for availing the opportunity. Um, I'm a bit nervous extra today. I would rather be behind the camera, but <laughs> as most of you know, I would rather be there rather than in front. So I was even joking with him. I was like, ah, so pastor, so now that we've got this project, maybe, you know, I can just pass being preaching. It's like, ah, no, my brother, you have to preach. You know, um, I'm not much of a preacher, I don't think so. But it's just to say a little something, you know, for the Lord. You know, to lift Jesus higher. You know, uh, for what He has done for us. You know, for His amazing grace. Um, and sometimes I get overboard, you know. Uh, and I need to apologize because last time, you know, I went off my notes and ended up preaching for four hours. Uh, it wasn't intentional. You know, I apologize, apologize to some of the saints. Glory Last God. time I looked, my clock was 12.30. And then next thing I know, I woke out, it's 3 o'clock. So, you know, the Lord is good. Um, and I'm trying to keep to time. Um, you're so thankful to the Lord. I'm just trying to get myself to relax, you know. Um, also just wait for him to, you know, for the spirit to start moving. I uh, want to thank the pastor, you know, for his efforts. You know, to keep the fire burning, you know, the postings, and you know, we thank the Lord for the rain, yes. for good health. Yes. You know, um, I had uh, some corona scares, so yeah. I know the people that have had it. You know, it's it's not a nice thing, no. but God is faithful. Amen. Wow. You know, um, with this word, you know, you've got nothing left. You know, yes. uh, this desperation is this vaccine work, not or whatnot, but oh, you know. We know the great physician, amen. Right. And uh, we are depending on the word of God, yeah. that it is true. Right. Amen. Um, without wasting your time, uh, let's just open up to the scriptures. Um, hey, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit long-winded, brothers and sisters, so I'll probably be very fast. Right. So I hope you've got a spiritual caps on, yeah. you know, just a simple message. Um, yeah, John 12, uh, verse uh, 46. Amen. John 12, verse 46. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Amen. Um, and then the second one, uh, Second Peter, Thanks. chapter one, mm, like uh, verses um, five to eight. Mm. I think this is a familiar one. Um, I'll just, for the sake of time, I guess I'll just read a short portion, then we'll continue uh, with our message. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance, and to, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor fruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, the last uh, scripture uh, that I'm going to use as reference you know, in the mouth of three witnesses, Indeed. let the word be established, wow. you know. Yeah. So Luke, Luke, Peter, and John. Um, Luke 15, mm. verse 11 to 32. So um, I know it's kind of strange, but most of you know the parable of the, of the prodigal son. Right. Amen. Um, so Luke 15, um, verse 11. So this is Jesus speaking now to the Pharisees. And he said, and he said, a certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he dis divided unto them his living. And not, not many days after the younger son gathered all together 
and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him uh, into the fields, into his fields, to feed swine. That's yeah. pigs now. Right. And he would, re he, would, he, would have, he would fain having, have filled his belly with husks that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto me, to, to him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough to, and to spare? And I perish with hunger. Mm -hmm. um, may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Let's just Lord, bow our heads. Lord. Yes, Lord. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, yes, dear Lord, uh, we come before thy presence, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, with open hearts, Father, right. Lord, uh, with a childlike attitude, O oh God, Amen. Lord, thanking Thee, Lord, that You brought us through, Lord, uh, yeah. Lord, uh, in these perilous times, Father, right. Lord, that Thou, that Thou art still faithful, Amen. Lord, and as we approach this word, Lord, um, Lord, which is the principal theme, Lord, for right. us meeting, Lord, and Lord, we just want to lift You up higher, Father. Yes. Lord, we pray that you anoint the word, Lord, and Please, Lord. Lord, set me aside, Father, and Amen. use this mortal lips, Lord, these 16 elements, yes, that, Lord, your thoughts, Lord, behind the word, Lord, might be unveiled to your Amen. children, yes. Lord, that these words might be a light, Lord, unto their paths, Father, that they might be edified, Lord, uh, though it's nice to see each other, Father, yes. Lord, but they came, Amen. Lord, under expectation, Lord, to be Amen. blessed by thee. Lord, so may, you, may your spirit move from bench to bench, Lord. Lord, may they have something, O oh God, that they might be edified. Lord, um, we just commit the service into your hands. Lord, as I lay everything, Lord, into your hands. Lord, being conscious of time, I'm nervous, Lord. And Father, but I believe there's such an inspiration, Lord, and a great atmosphere, Lord. Father, we believe, Lord, the angels are in their post of duty. Lord, and we invite you this morning, Father, in this little group, Father, that, Lord, you might bless us, O God. Lord, from one word from you is enough. Lord, we've already spoken the word. Lord, may you quicken it, Lord. Um, Lord, as we bless your name, Father. Lord, and commit everything into your loving hands. In Jesus Christ's name we ask. Amen and amen. You may just take your seats. Thank you. Amen. Are we happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yes, sir. Oh, you've got to give amens. Yes. You've had your break, so yes. there's no excuses. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. If, I, if Adasa was so keen to be in church, we should not be ashamed. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. My. Oh, it's so good to be here. Um, uh, the title um, of this um, a little thought uh, <laughs> um, is come to thyself rise and shine to perfection come to thyself rise and shine to perfection amen so um, uh, I'm also trying to learn you know sometimes you know I get excited and you know, people, you know, you, you're trying to keep up, so this time I'm just going to give you a summary so that you know where I'm going. Right. Amen. Yeah. Um, so, um, hopefully by God's grace, uh, we'll be talking a few minutes about the parable of the prodigal son. Right. You know, um, so normally you hear that the prodigal son is this and that. Right. Um, usually it's a bad thing, but, you know, um, what you're trying to bring out, you know, um, is typing you and me right. in, God by, um, in God's great plan of salvation. Yeah. Amen. Us being wayward from God, you know, uh, born in this world, speaking lies, you know, and, um, you know, we're not perfect. Right. But then he's called us to perfection. Right. Amen. Yeah. And yet his love through Jesus Christ, the living word, shines and awakens us from our backslidden state 
unto perfection. We didn't deserve it. But God in his mercy and love, amen, predestined us, predestined us to be sons and daughters. You did not choose to be a son and daughter of God. But by God's grace, amen, he foreknew that you'd be sitting right here. Amen. In these dark and evil times. Amen. My. So, just to give you a background, I told you I'm going to be fast. So, um, I don't have much time. I'm going to try, try by God's grace. So, this parable is the complete story of ruin and reconciliation. Amen. A type of a redeemed sinner. Amen. There's none perfect amongst us. There's none good except the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But you are his righteousness through his death. Amen. So we can lift up our hands. Amen. Oh, now there's no more condemnation. Amen. So we see Jesus was speaking about this parable. You know, and uh, to the Pharisees, the wise and prudent. Amen. And yet they missed it. Amen. So the Father re reveals such things to babes. Amen. And may that always be your attitude. You know, right. when we approach the things of God. Yeah. Amen. So, in this parable, he was trying to express the feeling of the father to the lost. Right. Amen. Right. Those that are alienated from God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Gone out. Amen. Right. Remember, we were all alienated at some time. Right. Cut off from God. Yeah. And we see in these dark times, you might be in that place right now. Right. Amen. Yeah. So, what we are trying to do is there is hope. This is why this is the good news. Amen. It might not be you. Maybe someone that will hear this message. Amen. There is hope. Amen. Amen. And the Father will receive us gladly. Because his son became a sinner. Amen. Oh my, what a wonderful gospel. Amen. My. Amen. So the prophet says, no, no matter where you are, what environment you're in, Jesus will come anywhere to receive you. Amen. All that the Father has given him in his hand. Amen. He shall not lose even one. My. My. Amen. So let's get to our scriptures. Um, we'll start um, uh, our main scripture being Luke 15. So um, I'm just going to go through the scriptures. And then just, you know, drop a few things here and there. Um, you know, um, it's, it's a story and I guess being a parable, you know, there's a lot of things that were hidden in there, you know. Um, I guess the inspiration, I also wondered, you know, in most of this parable, I think this is probably the longest. And, you know, and the thought came to say, the Lord being the living word, God does not waste his words. So sometimes we rush over things and be like, oh, it was the parable of the lost son, you know. Yeah, he was bad, you know, he fell and then, you know, he got redeemed. But I think in that, that's why we need to look at things from a spiritual perspective. Jesus said, by this rock, by revelation, it's only by the power of God that we can unveil these things. Amen. And I'm thankful to God that in this day and age, yeah. amen, he's opened up the book. Yeah. All the mysteries of God should be finished. Yeah. For you and I to benefit from this. Yeah. Amen. So, verse 11. Amen. Bear with me. And he said, a certain man had two sons. Yeah. Right. Who was this certain man typing? Who was that certain man? Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'll just leave it hanging. Amen. Verse 12. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of my goods that falleth to me. Amen. <laughs> and he, the father, divided unto them his living. Amen. I wonder what was influencing him. Amen. This was the man's living. Of course, he had inheritance. Yeah. Mm. But for him to wake up one morning and say, give me my portion. Right. It belongs to me. Yeah. What anointing was on him to be so brash? Uh, 
Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And disrespectful. Yeah. Wasn't he getting enough food? Yeah. What was the thought behind that? What was the motive and objective? Yeah. Now, with God, okay, let me just, excuse me, I need to remove my coat. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. So there are only two powers in this world. Amen. Two powers that influences man. God and Satan. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Light versus darkness. Is that true? Amen. And we, as human beings, We've got the ability to choose. Amen. Either light or darkness, no matter what it is. Yeah. Amen. That's why we go by the word. Yeah. Not your feelings, yeah. but the word. Yeah. We are in a journey and we've never been here before. Yeah. But there's one, amen, that's been through this journey. Yes. Amen. amen. And that's the word. Yeah. Amen. It was given by inspiration. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My, my. Yeah. So we are sheep. We are supposed to be led by something. You might say, no, I'm not led by something, but you are. Your every decision. That's just the black and white. Amen. My. You might say there's gray areas and all these things, but ah, brother. <laughs> if you say there's gray areas, you're operating in grace. Amen. So we find what was influencing him. I don't think it was God. Because God said, honor thy father and mother. And by him doing that, was he honoring his father and mother? No. Amen. So that was the devil. Amen. He might have come in the form of influence from friends or maybe just the last of the eye. Yeah. Amen. Oh my. Maybe he saw some, someone living, you know, on TV there in his Bentley or whatever it is. It's like, hey. Oh, I also want a Bentley. Amen. My. So there was an influence. And we're living in Lady Osea age. Right. Amen. Right. Increased in goods. Yes. Not need of nothing. I'm bouncing back and forth. So it relates to us. Right. We shouldn't be looking in, down in the mirror. Right. But what's relevant to us? Yeah. The word was given for inspiration. Oh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's for us right now. Yes. So I might drop a few things here and there right. that pertains to us. Amen. Right. So that influence from the devil. Amen. The power of darkness. That's what he is. Yes. The prince of the power of the air. Right. Amen. And he's always trying to lead you into a trap. Right. It might sound good, feel good, or whatever it is, but that's a trap. Right. Amen. So what was the first thing? If you realize that was his first step down, self-will. Yeah. And that's the problem. His mm. first step downwards into spiritual darkness. Amen. I will do my own thing. Amen. Ah, me, I'm my own person. I'm grown now. I'm going to do. Brother, head high-minded. You're going down there. Amen. Let's continue. And not many days after the younger son gathered all. Second step, selfishness. Selfishness. Now he lost all his natural affections. I'm sure he wanted to leave his mother or whatever it might be. Amen. And he took his journey into a far country, tapping separation into the world. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Now you see what was happening. He started as a thought, yes. a seed from the devil. Yeah. Oh my. Now he's in a far off country, in the devil's playground. Amen. Amen. Yes. And there he wasted his substance with riotous living. Right. Amen. Right. What is riotous living? Amen. Walking after the flesh and things of the world. He was now in the world. Amen. What entertainment is there? Amen. I'm sure it wasn't a church. Because if he was paying his tithes or whatever it might be, God blessed him. But then he was spending things on other things. And if you go back into the scripture or further, his brother, when he was complaining when he came back, said, no, how can you bless this son when he was living with harlots? It just gives you some insights of what he was doing or where he was. Amen. And when he had spent all, amen, you see now, he's in the devil's playground. And brother, if you're a son of God, 
if you're in the devil's playground, you will fall twice as fast. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My, but God be praised. Yeah. And then there rose a mighty famine in that land. Yeah. And he began to be in want. Yeah. My, I hope you can read between the lines there. There arose a famine. And now God sometimes uses famine sure. as an instrument sure. to bring disobedience to obedience. Right. Amen. Amen. To bring you in your position. Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Look in the Bible. Famine. Right. In the days of Joseph, Jeez. there was famine. Yeah. What did that famine do? It raised Joseph to his position. When Pharaoh was asking him, hey, there's going to be, I had a dream. The dream was about famine. Right. And he put him in his position. And what did it also do? It brought him back to his brothers. Because if there was no famine, his brothers wouldn't have come. Yeah. Look at Ruth. My, Naomi. <laughs> if it wasn't because of that famine, they wouldn't have gone back. Woo! Amen. It wouldn't have brought Ruth back in. Amen. There's other examples. Abraham. My, Isaac, my, oh brother, this is rich, friends. <laughs> so now, even with famine, which is a type of a plague, I wonder in this day, as we see these plagues, what is it bringing us into? A point of desperation. Now you are making your election sure. Amen. We are looking for a bright revival. My, and some people say, ah, no. You know, if you die in this plague, you know, there's something wrong. Yeah. Brother, with God, you can't lose. Yeah. Even if you die yeah. with Corona, yeah. it still brings you back into your position. You will be back in the face of the Father. It brings you into the presence of God. Amen. It does not change your sonship. Amen. Whatever it might be. Amen. You can't lose. Amen. You're going back to God. Amen. My, my. In Amos 8, it says, um, God saying that I will send famine in the land. Yes. Not a famine of, of bread, nor a thirst of, for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Right. Didn't in 1962, the prophet was told, store up the food. And brother, since then, we are still eating. Amen. There's famine. There's famine. Never take this word for granted. Amen. My. He stored up food. Amen. Let's continue. And he joined and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into the fields to feed swine. We are looking at our types now. Amen. Who was that citizen? I'll just take you through my thoughts. I think it was the devil. I think it was the devil. And he sent him into the fields to feed swine. I want you to watch the personality now of this person. How cruel. He sent him into his fields to feed swine. So, amen, pastor. Our pastor in the spirit. Yo. <laughs> and he wanted to keep him there in the field. Amen. With all that field. Amen. amen. Yeah. In that slop. Yeah. That stink. Yes, sir. Fellowshipping with pigs. A Jew. <laughs> Can you imagine a Jew? You can't even eat pigs. Now he has... Feed these pigs an unclean animal. My. And he would have fain. So he was hungry. But then even under this employee of this, this citizen, this young boy had to fill his belly with the husks that the swine did eat. 
out of desperation. Brother, you are separated, spiritually dead. Yes. Amen. Yes. Out of desperation, you are now eating with the pigs. First, you are fellowshipping with the pigs. Yeah. Probably even ministering to them. Cast not your pearls upon swine. Wow. They in the world. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, from him feeding them to actually eating with them. Okay. I hope you're catching it, saints. Wow. Amen. We are called to be children of light. Wow. Brother, when your associations yeah. come to fellowship with the world, yeah. brother, those things, you end up being like them. Yeah. Amen. But that is not your calling. Yeah. Amen. He started eating with the swine, the husks. Okay, let me just tell you, what are husks? Amen. The husk is the dry covering of a seed. Right. Amen. Right. Okay, in our instance, that will have pap. You see, there's maize and then there's those things that you, you know, the leaves. Right. Dry, My. Yeah. But it is not the seed. No. It's just a form. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If you see a wheat, I love how Brother Brennan puts, puts it. When you see a husk, inside there's a seed. Right. If you see, if there's no life in there, you might think, ah, you know what, it's a seed, but it is not. It's just a mirage. Yeah. Amen. Right. So now the devil was feeding him these things now. The husks, not the seed. The husk has no virtue. Right. Yeah. Amen. A perversion of the actual seed. Yes. Counterfeit. Yes. Amen. Yes. It has no life. Mm. It's probably straight, tasteless and dry. Yes. So you can imagine this boy in the world. He's just feeding on things that have no virtue. Amen. Yes. Just trying to fill his belly. Yes. Brother, if you don't, if there's no truth, you go in the trash can. No matter what it is. Because God created something in you. Yes to always have a longing for the word of God. If you can't find the truth, you will feed yourself with filth. Amen. So he was eating with these dry husks which had no virtue. My. Maybe I can even type it to the, you know, religious systems. You know, I'm just going to church, but there's no virtue. Amen. My. Maybe it might be worldly things. Yeah. Things that you do just to fill the void. Yeah. And I'm preaching this because I know yeah. during this lockdown, we didn't have church. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There wasn't that constant yeah. fellowship of this. Yeah. WhatsApp is not what God meant. Yeah. It's something that we're using. Yeah. But there's something about just gathering ourselves. Yeah. It encourages you as a Christian. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we find, if not that, the temptation comes. We are rubbing shoulders with the world. Right. Amen. Right. Maybe it's just the fashions, maybe. Yeah. You know, just to fulfill worldly fashion, right. just to fulfill that void. Yes. Maybe it's just gossip. Right. And the worst, maybe even social media. Yeah. Husks. Yes. No virtue in it at all. Yes, My. Right. Maybe it's beauty. You're spending so much time at home. All you had was your mirror and you're fellowshipping with yourself. Now you're like, hey, I'm beautiful, man. Hey, man. Hey. But only Jesus Christ can satisfy your needs. Hey, man. My, what a bad condition. Hey, man. And no man gave unto him. That's rock bottom. What about these friends that he was playing with? My. And that's what the devil does. Amen. If he can get you started down the hill, right. <coughs> excuse me, he will trump you with everything that he's got. Because right. he knows who you are. Yes. Amen. Amen. But praise God. Amen. 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 Okay, I'm going to quickly just rush. Do we love him, saints? Amen. 
Amen. My. And then, the next verse, number 17. And when he came to himself, and when he came to himself, something happened there. He wasn't introduced to anybody else, but when he came to himself, brother, someone turned on the light. He was there in darkness with pigs in the world, close darkness, but somebody turned on the light. Amen. Because all this time, it was fine. He was looking back in the mirage. He was like, I'm right. I'm going, I'm going to do this. But when he had hit rock bottom, he came to himself. And I'm sure some of you can testify. There's a point in your time when you came to yourself. When something hit you, something was activated. Brother, if you haven't had that experience, I pray to God that you have it. It will change your life. Amen. Amen. All this time, you were living in a mirage. Amen. A reflection of something. But something in you, there's a light that struck that predestinated seed. Amen. My. He came to himself. Yes. To what? What was himself? Oh, this is different. Amen. To what he was in the beginning. Amen. <laughs> to what he was in the beginning. He heard from his theophany. <laughs> Where he was with God. Before the beginning, something spoke to him. Sometimes when you talk about theophanies, people are like, hey, this brother, ah, he's going, hey, he's now a fanatic. This is heavenly language, brother. Amen. Amen. Oh, my. Psalm 62, verse 10. When David was speaking, hey, those Psalms, brother, they are packed. They are packed with just nuggets. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set your heart up, set not your heart upon them. And this is what I want you to to notice. He says in verse 11, God had spoken once. Twice have I heard this. So God spoke once and twice he did hear hear me. How? How? Brother, you might hear with your physical ears, but then something comes in the backside, oh brother, in your subconscious, something says amen. When you are preaching these things, brother, it's not just for knowledge. We are trying to awaken that seed in you. Right now, you've got spiritual amnesia. You have forgotten what you were in God. That's what Christianity is about. We are trying to be like Jesus. Amen. Amen. He came to be our example. Is that right? But he bypassed his theophany. We bypassed our theophany. He didn't. He knew all things. But brother, when we leave this earth, we will be connected to our theophany. And you will know all things. But now and then, by God's grace, a light shines. You can say, Amen. I might not understand it. I might not have seen Jesus in the flesh, but I believe this word. Amen. We can preach the parable of the lost son, and you can say, Lord, that was me. You can identify yourself in the scripture. It does not end with just salvation. Oh my. We are going into adoption about the Father's business. Our our religion is not based on just being good. But there's a revelation that you know who you are. And you live according to that. Brother, even if something is wrong, 
you still know who you are. I am still a son. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. And Brother Branham says, now the difference between him and you as a son. See, he was at the beginning the word. An enmorphic body. He came in and lived in that. In the person Melchizedek. Then later, he never, we never heard no more of Melchizedek. Because he became Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Melchizedek was the priest. But he became Jesus Christ. Wow. Now you sure. bypassed that. Wow. Because in that form, yeah. he knows all things. Right. And you never, you have never been able to know that yet. You come like Adam, like me. You became from the attribute, you came from the attribute of flesh to be tempted. Right. Amen. Right, right. But when this life here is finished here, if this earthly tabernacle be dissolved, we have one already waiting. But now and then, brother, the channel is open. Yes. And some inspiration comes. Wow. Something tugs at your heart. Amen. Amen. Wow. My. Amen. Um, let me just skip now. Amen. Amen. But look. Clearly, uh, it makes it clear. You will never be the word unless you was a thought at the beginning. That proves the predestination of God. See, you can't be the word unless you are a thought. Right. A thought is a word is a thought expressed. Amen. Right. You had to be in his thinking first. Right. Amen. Right. But in order to stand temptation, you had to bypass your theophany. Yeah. Yeah. You had to come into flesh and be tempted by sin. Amen. But all the Father has given me who come to me. You did not come here by chance. You are not listening to this by chance. You are not saying amen by chance. Amen. Oh my. And I will raise him up in the last day. Amen. See, you had to be first. You had to be there. Amen. My. So, the devil had, this citizen had relegated him in the worst possible place, spiritually and physically. But look, he was still a son. Amen. Him being in that fallen condition, he was still a son. Amen. He was still identified. But he had a measure of who he was. That's why he was sitting there. But then he came to himself. Amen. My. My. Oh my. Let me just keep my, my notes because uh, for the sake of time. Amen. So now you see the contrast between the father and the citizen. Between darkness and light. Right. Amen. Yeah. My, who would you rather be, belong to? You have a power of decision. Amen. You can choose. Amen. My. Um, uh, let me just skip here. So now just to type that to the story of the ego born in a... In a, in a in a hen pen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Such a beautiful story. Amen. Yeah. When that little eaglet heard the cry of that mama eagle, yeah. he was an old bull. And if I can say that, no one wanted to probably associate it with him because he was weird. Amen. Yeah. Strange bird. Yeah. But when that cry yeah. came out, yeah. he responded to that cry. Yeah. Because something in him said, Amen. Amen. Yes. My. Amen. My. Yes. So as we're talking about the light, Amen. Something happened to him. Amen. And when that light struck that sea, yes. it began to scatter the darkness. That amnesia started to separate. Right. Amen. That predestinated seed started pushing out. Yeah. Amen. He started to remember who he was. Amen. Amen. The first step into destruction, into ruin, was self-will. But now, by that, that was the step where, um, 
The first step, up now. Amen. Amen. My. Upward into that pyramid. Yes. <laughs> to the stature of a perfect man. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh, man. My. For, for you were, were sometimes darkness, but now you are light in the, in the Lord. Walk as children of light. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my, amazing grace. Amen. How sweet the sound. Amen. I was blind, but now I see. Amen. Your realization influences your behavior. Consciousness influences behavior. Yes. Knowing who you are right. makes all the difference. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Knowing who you are makes the difference. Right. I hope you catch that. Yeah. Indeed. So, we now, where does that bring us? Why are we preaching these things? To bring you to a realization. Brother, it's an individual affair. You might sit here and be like, ah, no, I'm just playing church. But this, what we are preaching, might just strike something, and that is our hope. The seven thunders. Amen. You were called by the seven thunders. Amen. Amen. The seven seals. Amen. These mysteries. Amen. That it awakens Amen. something in you. Amen. My. Amen. We are going further. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light. Amen. But he did not stop there. He put it on our laps. We've got no excuse. Amen. 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 So that's why we can preach deep things. Amen. 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 We need to come to that. The world is already evil. But where is Christianity? My, the world is in chaos. But God said, fear not. My, but we are the ones that are in most panic. Sons of God. We don't know our position yet. What a challenge. My. So, as we proceed. Amen. So now he came to himself. And then he began to think now. I love this. So I'm just going to go in another direction. We're talking about the seven thunders. Amen. Seven virtues. So he said, how many hired servants <coughs> of my father have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? It's becoming light now. I'm just going to dramatize. He said, I will arise. What is that? Faith. It had nothing to do with him. It was a gift of the father. That he was identified. Oh my. <laughs> my. When you receive faith, it was a gift from God. You believing wasn't because of you. It was God's gift. Now we see as we're walking in this picture. When he said, I will arise. Because he came to a realization. That no, I am a son. I'm identified with the father. Because of that. My. I will arise. Why should I keep in this stop? Yeah. Why should I keep in these things that satisfy it not? Yeah. There's something greater there. Amen. Amen. That's at the bottom of the pyramid. That's faith. Amen. As we proceed. Amen. Amen. My. And go to the Father. Yeah. I will arise and go to the Father. Amen. Virtue. Amen. He purposed in his heart. We are on the second step now. Amen. He purposed in his heart, I will go to my father. Amen. He was in action now. Amen. I wonder what he was saying in his heart. I will not be denied. Amen. Second level, virtue. 
We are talking about this Christian, uh, Christian, uh, Christian walk unto perfection. Are you with me, saints? Amen. Amen. And then he said, I will say unto him, <laughs> Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. What was that? Knowledge. Amen. Knowing the Father and what he wants. My. Third step. Amen. We are still climbing, saints. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Temperance. <laughs> Brother, from what he was. Remember in the beginning, he was like, no, give me everything. I'm going on my own way. But now, something changed. He's like, you know what, Father, it's fine. I'll just be a servant. Even though I'm still your son. Temperance with God. Being patient. No matter how long it will take. You might be in this situation now. And you're like, ah, but I need this, I need this, I need this. But something happens inside of you when you can wait upon God. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine as he's walking there? He knows his brother is already there. He never left. Hey, I can think maybe it's like, hey, my brother has been there, but it's fine. I'll be a servant. I'll lower myself. It's okay. Maybe there's some that he used to boss around and all these things. But now he can work side by side with them. Yeah. Brother, pride. Yeah. Oh, pride is gone. Oh, He's got temperance now. Yes. And he said, make me as one of thy hired servants. Right. As we talked about, patience. Yeah. I'll just work in the fields. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'll be a laborer. Ah. And he rose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great far, way far off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell out on his neck and kissed him. Brother, I love that. Amen. He had not said anything yet. In that type of the Christian, God knows. Man. God knows. But sometimes we need that awakening. Right. He's just waiting for you yeah. to come. Yeah. He's not going to force you. Right. But He wants you to come. Right. And you will come. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Man. My, 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 my. Ah. Uh, and the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and in thy sight. He's now confessing now. And I am no more worthy to be called, you, called thy son. But the father said to his servants, <laughs> I like this. So although he was confessing these things, the father was like, okay, he's talking. But the father already who knows all things. Brother Benham says, how long does it take for God to forgive you? Someone answered, asked that question. How long, saints? Hey. How long? Yes, sir. As quick as you can confess it. Amen. That's how quick God. Don't try to put God on your level. Amen. He's Almighty God. He's a loving Father. Amen. Oh my. Amen. But the Father said to his servants, "My, bring forth the best robe and put it on him. What is that? Godliness." <laughs> oh, I feel good, saints. His old rags were not good enough anymore. For you to represent the Father, you can't come with your old rags. He had to put godliness on him. Amen. But did he deserve that glow? No. The Father gave him the best. What is the best thing that God can give you? <laughs> and he put a ring on his hand. Yeah. These things are happening at once. Adoption. Right. He put a signet. What does that ring symbolize? Right. Amen. 
The Father has accepted him. Yeah. Now he's co-equal with God. Uh, Read your scriptures. Uh, co-equal with God? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, and what else? It's the wedding ring. For the bride. <laughs> Brother, we're going to a wedding supper. The wedding is happening right now. Francisco and Sister Janet. They're saying they invite here. Brother, we're just going to the wedding supper. The things are already happened. Before God. He's just making it official. This they say they vows in pastor's house. Yes. Oh, I, 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 my. Oh, you might think I've missed something. Brother Likainez, huh? And shoes on his feet. That's Brother Likainez, humility. Grounded brother. Oh. Now, his, the father said, now you are a humble son. You are beginning, you want to serve. As a show of that, he has these shoes. Now you know how to trade. Brotherly kindness. Amen. Oh my. Um, oh, I'm nine minutes over, saints. I'll just be quick. I'll just be quick. Amen. Oh, this is so rich. And now this is the father speaking. So he has said all these things and these things are now happening to him. Draw nigh unto father and you draw unto you. These are the things that the father is doing. Amen. Unto the son. Amen. For this, uh, and he said, and bring hither the fetid calf and kill it. And let us eat and be merry. For this, my son was dead. Who is he telling these things? The servants. If you see the types, this is a public affair. He's saying it in public. If you know the principles of adoption, it is done in public. Amen. This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. When you get to that place, we are now at the top of the pyramid. Brother, oh. Oh, this is rich. For this, my son was dead and is alive. A type of death and resurrection. He was lost and is found. That's love. Amen. All this process, the father is declaring redemption. He was lost and now is found. Complete. And he's pronouncing it. His redemption plan, this is what it is. And what will happen to the bride? When we get to that point, God is going to show her off. You and I, this is what's been happening. Brother, you might, the world might know you as a certain individual, like, ah, but so and so, he makes this, you will just make mistakes. But by the grace of God, you will come through. Don't give up. Amen. Amen. God has got a plan for your lives. Amen. And then now to close off, the elder brother, it goes now, he was in the field. Now you can see the types. And as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard the music and dancing. Yeah, but he's also a son. He can hear things are happening there. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. Remember, he's asking the other servants. He doesn't know what's happening in his father's house. Contrast. And he, um, and he said unto him, Thy brother is come. This is the servant. Ah, but you don't know. Your brother is back. And, the fa- and thy father has killed the fetid calf because he had received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. He was angry because his brother came. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answering, his, uh, answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress I at any time thy commandment. 
And yet thou never gavest me a kid, like a goat, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him a fetid calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. Amen. And all that I have is thine. It was me that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive. And was lost and is found. Now this elder brother, he did not know who he is. Just like the Pharisees. Amen. Amen. There's a brother that said this and I really loved it. So I'm going to say it to you. He was a son that was confused. He was confused. He confused himself with an angel. An angel is a servant. Oh, I am holy. Oh, I'm doing this. Works, works, works. Oh, my. Just like the Pharisees. Amen. Oh, brother, you couldn't put a finger on them. But God in his mercy. My. So you might think like, yeah, yeah, depending on your works. But when you get the revelation, your God is holy. Your works, in appreciation to God, that's good. But what will we base it upon? You need to base it upon this. Amen. Amen. It's a journey. Amen. You might be holy and all these things, but God looks at the heart. God just likes <laughs> if you see the types in the Bible people with mistakes outcasts Amen My amazing grace how sweet the sound Amen so in other words what was the father saying now to the son and I love this and pastor has said it and it really blessed my heart you are twice mine. Amen. 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 Yes. So he was explaining to this other child, like, hey, yeah. you are complaining, but this son of mine is now twice mine. Right. Once lost. Oh. oh, man. You can start singing. Amen. Amazing grace. Amen. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Amen. Amen. And I wonder, this morning star sang when the sons of God shouted for joy when they saw the plan of salvation Amen, Amen. God putting your name in the book of life before the foundation of the world yes you might have trials I'm closing now Amen you might have trials after corona and you've been starved of church or whatever it is maybe not Maybe you became stronger. Maybe you feel something is lacking. I can tell. I can discern your amens are not really. Brother, faith is a muscle. If you don't exercise it, you'll be a bit weak. Now you can't even last long for 30 minutes. Amen. Your attitude, brother. Say, Lord, help me. Amen. We are not immune. Amen. Amen. If, I like how pastor says it, if you're not at the pinnacle, mm. yeah, you're backslidden. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why we must die daily. Yeah. And this morning we're trying to encourage you. Yeah. Come to yourself. Amen. That's right. Amen. Wow. The message has come to you. Right. Yeah. The light of that of the hour. Rise and shine. Shalom. I'm done. <laughs> uh, let's give the Lord a round of applause. Amen. Um, let's just sing uh, that song. Um, um, 
guess the musicians ready. Okay, it's just, just, just getting ready. Just uh, pray. Just bow our heads. Our gracious Heavenly Father, my dear Lord, thank you for this morning, Lord, for thy grace. Lord, uh, for taking these broken pieces, Lord, and Father, these little thoughts. Um, Father, I hope it was a blessing to the saints. Lord, um, if not, Lord, um, just your word is enough, Father. Lord, um, may you be the after preacher, Lord. Lord, um, knowing, Father, doing our best to stand here, it's not easy. But Lord, uh, you still take us through. Lord, um, I just pray, Father, as we go from here, Father, that, Lord, you be the after preacher, Lord. And um, knowing, Father, that I was a bit nervous, Lord, uh, going the way that I've never gone before, maybe I just dropped a few things, Father, that bless my heart, Lord. If I said anything wrong, Lord, please forgive me. Lord, you know my intent is not to sound wise or anything, Father, but just to be a blessing to the kingdom, Father. Lord, for what you've done for me, and Lord, in this Christian walk, and Lord, to be able to bless others, Father. Lord, I pray, Father, that in the midst of this, Lord, they might just have something, Lord, that they can take home, that has warmed their hearts, Father, for, Lord, what is what use is it, Lord, if, they're, if it's just a painted fire, Lord, and mirage? Lord, it takes you to quicken the word, Lord. Lord, and the word has been spoken. Lord, uh, may you take the words, Lord, uh, and uh, say it in my own way, Lord. Uh, but Father, I pray that you, I believe that you are in it. Lord, and as we pro progress further, further, Lord, may you continue to be with us. Lord, and as we bless your holy name, Lord, and may we worship you in truth, Lord, uh, for this revealed, Lord, truth, for the light of the hour. May we shake, Lord, uh, the darkness around us, for the light has come, Lord, and feeling your presence, Lord, uh, for this few minutes, Lord, let us, we pray that we just give you our all, Lord, and thank you, Lord, for your grace. Lord, that, Lord, you'll never leave us or forsake us. Lord, uh, I also pray, Lord, for the saints that will come after. Lord, let this atmosphere, Lord, continue to be there, O oh God. Lord, may they also enjoy your blessing, O oh Father. May you anoint the preacher man, Father, and Lord, uh, minister unto their hearts, Lord. Lord, may they come out, Lord, not the same way they came in, but Father, to see you, Lord, uh, to see you in flesh. May the light continue to shine, Lord, as we bless your name and give thanks in Jesus Christ's name we ask. Amen and amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a round of applause. Um, uh, as I am just above my time, um, as we sing that song, um, uh, we walk in the light, uh, Jesus the light of the world. Um, I was just thinking on that song and like it really blessed me. I, I always remember Brother Victor, you know, he usually, you know, uh, starts that song like before we we minister you know and i've grown so fond of it and i'm so glad that you know um to sing it because it means more now you know uh, than it ever did so okay we can sing that song as we give off to the pastor we walk in the land such a beauty Oh my
Come unto thyself. Hey, come unto yourself. Amen. Rise, shine. Give God the glory. Come unto perfection. So rise, shine. Come to your theophany. Come to perfection. Really appreciate our precious brother Nasha that so ably ministered the word of the Lord. You know, to get out of that parable of the seven virtues uh, must take some. Amen. Inspiration. Amen. Uh, thank God is, is sticking with the inspiration of the message of the hour. Uh, Malachi was commissioned to bring these things. Amen. So let's sing another song. Amen. More of you. Glory to God. Is there anybody here that wants to give their heart to the Lord? Amen. Anybody after such a message? Praise God. Hallelujah. More of you see. Glory to God. Will you hear a chance? Amen. If you are here, you don't know the Lord Jesus in the power of his resurrection. You're still a prodigal son out there in the world uh, feeding uh, of the husk. There's a higher calling. Amen. There's a better life. And uh, may, uh, while we sing this song, the Lord draw you. More, see, amen. More of you. More of you. And then all but what I need just
guitar along and then I can take perhaps the morning shift <laughs> and, and whatever amen uh, I, I, I will try and help out if it's not a problem for them to do both shifts God be praised amen, amen. the Lord richly bless them amen so let's just bow our heads almighty God uh, thank you for Lord the call Lord uh, and the Lord, he calls me by the thunders. The trumpet sounds within my soul. Lord, we've got to come to perfection. This morning is a call to rise and shine and give God the glory. How can I give you the glory, Lord? Is to become a statue of a perfect man. Lord, deep in our souls, there's a longing for sons, a Lord uh, that cry of Abba Father, Lord, uh, that, that we have the inner witness that I have uh, what God requires uh, 
in this dark age to be the light. Lord, we want to be the light. We want to walk, Lord, with the shalom of God on our spirits. Rest and give us the peace that passes all understanding, Lord, as we press the battle. Lord, we pray as we leave now, uh, you will bless the Omega group, Lord. Our praise brother Fortune that will be bringing uh, the, the, the message. May you unction in God. May you unction the believers. Lord, may there be a revival like we've never seen before. We've seen in the natural. Lord, uh, the, the rain falling. Lord, may it fall on our soul. May you pour out like you've never poured out before, God. We ask the blessings. We want a change uh, in 2021. Not later on in the year, right at the outset. Lord, we want to feel a revival. We want to feel, Lord, the things of God are moving in our hearts, Lord God. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated, praise God. We are dismissed from the back. Amen. Sons of sea, sons of God, march forward. Oh